I'm going to show you how to make a quick mushroom curry and here are my ingredients. I've got some ground cumin, chili powder, ground coriander, turmeric, garam masala, some white mushrooms which are sliced, garlic, tomato paste, coriander leaves, onions and my oil. Now I've already heated my pan up and I'm going to add rapeseed oil to it. Now you can use sunflower or olive oil for this. I'm not using any kind of ghee because it's quite heavy and quite fatty. And to the pan, I'm going to add my onions. And then in goes the garlic. And give that a good stir. Now this will take about five to seven minutes for the onions and the garlic to brown. Well, the onions are beginning to look golden brown, so I'm going to add my cumin, a bit of chili powder, some ground coriander, and a touch of garam masala. Give that a good mix. So you want to cook the spices for about a minute in the oil and the onion mixture. That's great. Now garam masala means a mixture of hot spices. Garam means hot, masala means a blend of spices. And these are my sliced mushrooms. Now, white mushrooms come in four varieties, closed cup, open, button, and large. The mushrooms are absorbing all the oil. So saute the mushrooms for about two minutes. Now, mushrooms are a great source of protein. They're part of your five a day. Right, that's looking well fried, so I'm going to tip in my tomato puree. Now, if you haven't got tomato puree, you could use chopped tomatoes. And that adds to that kind of sour note. The final touch. Some coriander leaves for an added bit of colour. Now, if you want your mushroom curry to be nice and saucy, just add about 200 mils of just boiled water. Okay. Just tip these in here. can't help but garnish it a little more. That's looking yummy already. And that's it really. Quick mushroom curry.